Hello everyone, this is Captain Sovan. Welcome aboard the Starship Enorma Prize for another episode of Galactic Civilizations 3. Okay, so before I start, um, disclaimer, or not disclaimer, it's like I'm selling you something. Um, it is really hot outside, so the AC is me running a lot during this video. And you probably, you can hear it right now. I'm going to do my best to try to cancel out the background noise, but there's not a whole lot I can do to completely eliminate it. And um, I've done some research on this game, and I kind of figured out how to play it. The, the mindset I was kind of doing when I first started was I was treating it like Masters of Orion. Um, I forgot that these planets, um, that you can actually put anything you want on this. We can make this planet completely specialize in economy, completely specialize in research. And I was trying to take a balanced mind mindset. In this game, we don't really want to do that. Um, so I will be addressing that shortly. But like I like to do at the beginning of all my uh, videos, I like to check out our rank. So right now, production rank, we are third, so we're, we have a good amount of empire-wide production going on. Research, we're fifth, um, that's acceptable, but military rank, we're 13th. Um, and that's only because all I have is a Discovery class ship, and I need to actually start making some military ships. We don't, we haven't really found any other, um, any other races yet, so that's not that big of a deal. And uh, I just noticed up here we have our total morale of 69%. Uh, we're 70 on our main planet, um, which is good. So yeah, we'll, we'll check that stuff out later. And apparently we also got galactic, or not galactic, uh, like civilization, or not civilization staying, I keep saying the wrong word, citizens that have like gone up to um, um, a higher ranking, which is like right here. And uh, this is new to me. I didn't know citizens can do this, so I have to kind of figure out what's going on with this. Um, so we make a new citizen in 10 weeks. So we have one citizen available for training. We can make our citizen a administrator, which provide five points for administration, which in turn are consumed by survey ships, colonies, and star bases. I have no idea what that means. Um, we can also turn them into a worker, uh, which boosts our social construction by 3% on the colony that they settle, so that's pretty cool. And then scientists, yeah, it does the same thing for research. So I'm not exactly sure what this is. Um, let's go with it. Screw it. Let's figure this stuff out. And I got a new achievement, recruiter. Cool. Not sure what that means. So we have him, and we... Um, see, you're a leader. Is that me? Is that our actual leader? Yeah, working for government. Holy crap, we can actually interact with our leader. That is awesome. And I can promote you to a citizen. Huh, okay. We'll play around with that stuff later. Um, the one thing I really wanted to do is uh, we need to do more exploring, and I always, I've totally forgot that, you know, this is the soul system, Mars is colonizable. It's not the best for colonizing, but it's, it's good to start out with. And uh, that's that's can probably be my goal for expansion. But now, let's see. Uh, why can't? Oh, not enough food. You have to build your farms up first. Um, the farming can only go on certain ones. Yeah, they can only go on fertile soil, which apparently Asia is the only fertile soil we have out here. So, like, I guess that's where everything's gonna go. In the meantime. After the farm gets done in one turn, we want to get our shipyard going so we can start building ships. Um, let's see... Gross income plus 10. Let's see, provides you your biggest source of raw economic output. Um, I guess for now we'll go ahead and get some research and factories going. So you require one maintenance. How is our money going right now? We are making zero points. Okay, so we need to get our economy going first. So the central bank. This is where the city is going to go. Um, and what what exactly is this good for? Influence. Um, I don't think I have anything that helps influence. Let's see, you're... Um, you provide construction. You provide construction. You provide research. Yeah, I don't have anything for influence yet. So we're just going to go with that. We might build some factories here, like in America. 
Um, build a research center there, and then we'll go with that. Now, where's our survey ship? Oh, uh, ah, crap! That is very sensitive. Alright, so you... Yeah, you're coming down here to analyze space junk. First anomaly survey. Your survey ship cautiously approaches the mysterious object. All sensors set to maximum gain. The secret of the universe, the first of many, is about to reveal itself to you. Alright, so we have a debris field. This appears to be the remains of some sort of vessel. With, within the debris, we find a moderate collection of valuable ship components and rare elements um, after a thorough surgery, survey. Curiously, many, other, many often be dangerous, but it's also regularly profitable. So we gain some money and some experience points for a ship. Which, that's another thing I didn't know. Our ships can level up. I figured it out yesterday too when the video ended. ended. Um, yeah, I really need to play this game more. So you're a medium class vessel, 4 movement, 39 radar range, 6 logistical cost, which I don't remember what that does. Oh, that's that's like a fleet cost. And you're a command. Oh, oh, though, okay. Um, yeah, just let me put you on survey. You're a survey ship. Just survey around. And what's this balance of power here? Search out other civilizations to compare your faction power. Oh, okay, so this like shows you the balance of, of everyone. Since I only know one faction at the moment, I the computer thinks I know everything. Alright, the Bell Research Center has has released the results of their extensive survey aimed at finding the most con content planets in, in the known galaxy. Uh, that's good to know. I'm not sure what you want, but what for me by that. And let's see, we got... We got the farm built, which improves our food, I believe. Yeah. Farms produce food, which is consumed by your cities, which increases your population capacity. So you require four food extra. Increase our population by three. So I can't build a ship. Hmm. So I guess I can't really grow this planet yet. At least not until we get better food. I wish there was a way to make something fertile. Maybe there is. Maybe that's a research down the line. But okay. Oh, right. I forgot I had the scout. Oh, uh, uh, lag. Let's see, three turns we'll have a shipyard. Why have you on survey? We'll attempt to clear the fog of war. Notify you when an enemy ship is within its center range. Alright, we want you on explore then. I didn't know those two were different. Explore, please. We need to reveal more of the galactic map. Well, actually, no. You're a survey ship, so... Oh, that's sensory. No, never mind. Is that what I was reading? Oh, that is what I was reading. Dang it. I cannot read at all right now. Sentry. That will notify you if an enemy ship is within sensor range. Survey will attempt to find and go to anomalies. So you search for anomalies because you are a survey ship, and you um, try to get the Fog of War expanded. What's this up here? Prot uh, Protomethion? Um, let's see, build a mining base to start harvesting this resource. Okay. If I, I remember in this game that there's uh, certain resources that help the game um, overall, and then there's certain resources that are like strategical resources, kind of like uh, civilization. Um, not galactic civilization, but normal civilization, where you have strategical resource to help on a military level, and then you have like economy resources that help out your population and whatnot. Alrighty. Let's see, the interview. In an interview, you are asked about how, uh, what you feel the citizens of Earth most need to succeed as we explore the galaxy and encounter alien species. Hope. 
uh, determination, or high-powered weapons. Um, either way, we get a. We'll see if we do. Hope we get a new survey ship. Determination, we get a free colony ship, and high-powered weapons, we get a military ship. Hmm. We already have a survey ship, so let's go with determination, so we can get that free colony ship. And I can send you to Mars. Ooh, now we get to pick our ideology. Okay, so since we picked enough for pragmatic, that seems like our ideological um, view that we're going to be heading towards. So, let's see, for the first one, um, you guys can pause and read this. I'm not going to because it's going to kill a lot of our recording time. So, let's see, this one allows the building of a pragmatic center, which produces pragmatic ideology points every 10 turns. Grant three free construction vessels. Um, grant a free freighter and trade license. And no one will declare war on us for the next 50 turns. This is irrelevant. We haven't found anything yet. Hmm, the three construction vessels sound very tempting. We do have a quite a bit of star base, or a lot of resources around us that we can uh, take care of. And there's no reason to trade with somebody because we haven't found anyone to trade with. So yeah, I think uh, going with the builder one would be best. And now ideologies locked or unlocked, so like we can check them all out. So we have five points here, none here because we don't have anything there, and then none here because well we haven't been the it. So we might go a pragmatic. We'll go um, economy. I mean it makes sense, right? We're humans. We like money. All right, you oh, idle ship. Oh, right, our constructors. All right, I want you to go down there. I hope you can make that. Can you grab that? Will you be able to grab that? And you for the time being. I just want you to guard. Incoming message from United Earth. Ooh. Versaref, Terrans, Tipod, United Herbs. Apparently, I need a universal translator to talk to my brethren. <laughs> Apparently, the United Earth have advanced so far that they don't understand the English language anymore. Okay. Huh? Your fake smile and nod as you understand to proceed to close the incoming message. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So cool, we found our first computer. And we can't communicate with them until we understand alien language, which I find ironic because of the fact they are part of the Earth culture. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, Xeno Manufacturing. So now we can build a star Starbase factory and a Xeno factory, which is more powerful than the normal factory. And research pro- oh, that's what it leads to. How's the construction of unique resource heavily improvements? Hmm. Alright, I guess Universal Translator will come in handy since now we're starting to find some people. So let's get that going. Mm, shipyard Idol. Yay, we can finally build things! Alright. So we can build a scout or explorer. We don't have any military weapons yet, so we can't build anything like that. These... Oh, we got one missile ship. A stellar bomber. <laughs> Teeny hole. Now we have our small holes at the moment. I kind of want to check out the build menu real quick. Whoa. Did I just tell it to... I did tell it to build something. Cancel that construction. I wanted to design my own ships. That sponsors. Oh, right, because um, the shipyards in this game can uh, um, get improvements from multiple uh, ships, or from multiple planets. That's why it's good to find those systems that have a lot of colonizable planets in the middle, and you can have them all do that. You can have up to five sponsored. I believe that can go up with research. 
but I kind of want to check out the designer. Oh yeah, there's lots of things we can do. Like here's the, here's the cargo ones, and here's the teeny ones. There are ways to uh, do it like all at once. There's the explorer. I just kind of want to see like equipment. Oh yeah, you can put lights on. You can put modules on. Yeah, I, I forgot how like in depth this customization of this game is. But where's like like weapons and stuff like that that actually improve the ship? Not the actual, not the models. Oh, it's on equipment. Duh. So there's the hyperdrive, which is our movement. Our weapons, the only thing we have is a space rocket. Um, the defenses, we have no defenses. Modules to see life support. Life support mass. Oh, and it even tells you the ship roll. Holy, I... We're gonna play around with this so much. I like how this is the second episode in the series, and I'm still learning all the new things about this. Um, yeah, colony module makes it valuable. Construction makes it valuable. Survey, slightly valuable. Stasis field module. Oh, nice. And thorium hull reinforcement. I really like the way they did this. Okay, I'm not going to build a ship. I was just kind of curious about all that. Um, let's get a... Um, oh yeah, and you can import from Steam Workshop. Awesome. Um, and yeah, that's that's like your capacity. So when we start like getting to the point where we really need military ships, um, we will take care of that. But... What I want to do is, um, if I remember, we can move you around. So let's have you go in that direction. Yes, colonize Mars. Finally, after their long journey, your colonists set a foot on an alien world. Untold effort and struggle were required to get even this far, but it's only the beginning. The galaxy is filled with worlds for the taking. Alright. Philadelphia uplink successful. God dang it, Brianna. Welcome back, Commander. My computer interrupted us again. Oh well. <laughs> so we have a colony capital, and we have tech pods. These small, six-limbed, semi-intelligent creatures are near-perfect mimics, can be trained to do simple tasks, and are often used to take care of minimal tasks in the cramped confines of starships. Cool. Improve ship construction. What's this bonus? Plus two population. So we have a population capacity of three. That's all that they require. And there's nowhere around here to build a farm. So three is as high as we're going. So I guess for now. Build that. We can't build any research things on this planet. Hmm. It must be like planet dependent. Okay. Um, definitely want to build that. Because you get a bonus from that one. And space elevator. They're not really that important. I guess we'll make this an industry focused planet. That's about all that we can do. Alright, now that we expanded beyond our homeworld, the colonists are crying out for the structure. It is time for us to choose a form of government that is ready to handle a galactic civilization. Alright, now we get to learn about governments. This is too is brand new. God dang, I should have played this a whole lot more when all the updates are coming out. So, right now we are colonial. Um, this improves social construction, population growth, 
um, colony limit of four. We hold elections and can send missions. We have brought peace and enlightenment to our planet. It's our responsibility to bring it to the world and beyond. We can become an uh, imperial bo uh, government, which reduces diplomacy, improves movement speed, co colony limit is the same, and no elections. Improves ships construction. So can I just change anything? Looks like at the moment these are the only two I can pick. But eventually... Oh, holy crap. There are a lot of freaking governments. Ooh, Galactic Kingdom. Holy crap. Let's see, what's more important, ship construction or planetary construction and planetary growth? I think growth is going to be more important for us right now. Commonwealth. Uh, let's change our government to that. Once changed, you have to wait 26 weeks before you can change it again. Yes. Together we stand. Alright, shipyard idle. Did you already build the thing? Or did I just forget to tell you to build something? I think I forgot to tell you to build something. Let's so build two more of those. Uh, maybe you. And then... Let's see, each one of these require maintenance, don't they? Oh, you're free. You're free. You're free, oh, okay. So, build a couple bombers. So we have something defending our civilization as it continues to grow, expand, and eventually explode. Oh, what kind of lithium? Building a mining star base here to harvest a nearby resource. Why can't I move to you? Wait a minute. Am I doing something stupid? I might be onto something. Um, oh, what's going on from you? Ooh, cool, we met our third civilization. The Iridium Corporation. It's always nice to meet a friendly face. Look forward to doing business for you, and us with you. Alright, so Weirdless one, United Earth is here. Those guys are doing pretty good. They have a lot of power. Can I click this to like bring it up? Oh, okay. I thought I could. Alright, your people have had permanent structures in space before, but nothing like this. More than a facility, more than a place to build ships. This starbase is an expansion of your very civilization. Everything you do, everything you're proud of, everything that you people are and exist here. Ah, yes. That's what we're supposed to do. Let's see, we can build a military ring, which gives us a bunch of weapons. Economy ring, improves influence and maintenance. Culture ring, mining ring, yes. Next is a starbase defense platform. Okay. Um, let me make sure that went in. Yes, we now own Thurium. Okay, uh, I was thinking of Galactic Civilizations 2, where you literally have to put the ship on top of the resource in order to build a mining base on it. I forgot that they made in this one, your starbases have an area of influence where uh, they can uh, um, uh, be around like a whole bunch of different re re minerals. So that's good to know, which means this one, um, we only want you to be like here. And then you build a star base up there. Build a military. There we go. Now you own that one as well. 
Okay, this one I guess I'm gonna put over here. Um, let's see. You're trying to get the fog of war revealed, so we can figure out other things that are going on. And you're doing things. Danger zone! Oh, it's because we're in the nebula. Uh-oh. First Dolium mine. Your miner has been offloading the first load of Tholium. Surprisingly dull looking, it's only in higher dimensions that Tholium shows its true character. It's incredibly dense. As a stable form of Neutralium, it has many practical uses. This will become vital both for new types of kinetic weapons and numerous peaceful applications. Good to know, and then our first Promontanian mine. The first of your probes return with canisters filled with precious pro Promethumion. I can't pronounce big words. Incredibly unstable. It will provide vital vital for improving our research capabilities. Its incredible dent incredible density could also prove valuable in kinetic based weapons. So it kinda looks like our ships are gonna be based off of kinetic weapons, from what I'm reading. I wish I could capture this toxic planet. Actually. Is there a way just to capture it? Will it just be very bad for me? I don't know. There's some duratanium over here. So does this just go up over time? Okay, the museum. Another random event. A museum is opening a display about life. They would like to know what you feel your greatest accomplishment has been. I have done nothing. Together, we have done nothing. Everything. Okay, so 25% more morale for 10 turns. My greatest accomplishment is yet to come. So that's more research and the graves of my enemies. Just gives us a bunch of malevolent points. <sighs> morale, I think, is still good. So we're going to go with that and get more research. Be wary of your exploration of the stars, Dr. Bradley. Oh. Yeah, I forgot that's our leader's name. I need to change that to Captain Sovan. What is new to you is ancient to other races. Okay, whatever. I'll expand the way I want. Okay. Ooh, we got our research done. Yay! That's why the guy was able to talk to us, because now we unlock the ability to communicate with them. We can open our borders, make a cultural farm. Okay. Um, let's see, Galactic Council. Grant a diplomat and increases the influence of this planet. So that's for influential means. Um, that's bonus tourism income. Tourism income. Influence. Cool. What do we want now? Hyperspace project. Oh yeah, we don't have any antimatter. Uh, strategical command. That requires a certain ore that we don't have yet. Ooh, so Elenium helps with beam weapons. Antimatter helps with missiles, and Tholium helps with kinetic weapons. So we might be able to make beam and kinetic weapons like our main thing. Diplomatic specialization. Huh. There's your diplomacy, cultural exchange. What do I want to do next? Planetology. Um, there's a different type of mineral we need to help improve our planets. Wow, they've done so much with this game. Um, I think I'm gonna go with... Ah, Planetology. Anyways guys, um, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you like what I do, please consider subscribing to check out the other space-related content I have. 
And if you want to support me directly, I do have a Patreon in the video description you can check out. I gotta do a little bit more research. There's a whole lot to this game that I don't even know about. Because um, like I said last time I played this was three years in beta. So it's came a long way since that time. But anyways guys, until next time, this is Captain Selvan signing out.